Oh, this is like their containment facility. So you really wouldn't want somebody to press that button. Right, that, that's the button that you wouldn't want people to hit because it might release all of the giant muscly zombies. <laughs> okay, well it's a good thing nobody did that. What's up guys, and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Now as many of you guys know, in these episodes, I'm out there in the world using my supernatural powers to turn people into puddles and meaty little cubes. And that draws a lot of unwanted attention. And sometimes because of it, I end up going to prison, but other times I end up going to slightly more specialized prisons. Our first level is called SCP Containment Escape. And I know what you guys are thinking, okay? We got six burly security guards blocking the way, giving me a death stare. They're probably not all that friendly, but I disagree. Okay, I'm sure we can all be friends here. I've already made a couple of friends. Even though they're slightly angry and not too appreciative of their nickname, Big Lip Larry, I'm sure we can all get along, right? I just want to talk, and by talk, I mean kick stuff at you. Come on! I'm trying to reform my ways, okay? I didn't want to turn people into meaty little cubes today! Oh, Larry, you deserved so much better than being lips down in your own blood. <laughs> These guys have such red eyes, I can't get over it. It reminds me of one of my favorite sayings. That's the look when you had four bowls for breakfast, but only one of them was cereal. <laughs> I don't have any weapons, okay? This is an escape. I don't want to fight people. I want to escape. Crap. Okay, well, I got, I got weapons now. Maybe I can... Uh, I've upset them. I don't think I can fight through this. All of these guys don't seem to need any convincing, but a lot of you guys in the comments seem to think that I'm not actually an SCP. People are commenting saying that they think I'm D-Class personnel, but that doesn't make any sense. Like, D-Class personnel are just people, right? They're, they're just prisoners. They get brought down to be experimented on. And even though I hang out with people in orange jumpsuits and I wear an orange jumpsuit, I can still kill people with my heavenly finger guns and slow time and make shockwaves and stuff. <laughs> so I'm clearly an SCP. The other thing people were saying was, you know, all the other SCPs are attacking you. If you were an SCP, they wouldn't do that. Of course they would. You release all the animals from a zoo, they're gonna eat each other. It doesn't matter that they're animals. <laughs> Would a regular person be able to kill 15 guards with a dinner tray? I don't think so. Okay, maybe John Wick, but he's not exactly a regular person. He could probably be classified as an SCP. What are we doing, guys? We getting ready to escape? I'm gonna assume that I can follow you. <laughs> Some of them might be D-class, okay? That, that's entirely possible. Not all SCPs are aggressive towards all people. I'm sure there are plenty that are very opportunistic. You know, if they see a chance for a, a common friend, the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing. Uh, are we enemies or friends here, guys? You you really just, oh, okay. Well, they're gonna, uh, no, now is not the time for hug, Big Steve, okay? They're, they're kind of Blair Witching behind the guards and I'm not sure, oh, there we go, okay, I set them off. Go, Big Steve. <laughs> Whoa, hug, hug them, hug them, not me. If any of you guys are hiding superpowers, now would be a great time to use them. I guess I could probably break out one of mine, right? There we go. <laughs> you guys really shouldn't have pissed me off. That's the last thing that you wanted to do, because now my specialty comes out and I turn you into meaty little cubes after a whole lot of hits. Ooh, you're a big boy. You are a very big boy. Um, um, I don't like this. Okay. I'm really happy he hasn't figured out how to shoot that gun, but that really hurts. I, I, I don't want to die. I'm going to take your hand. And there goes all my friends. Well then. I didn't need friends anyway, because I would have turned them into meaty little cubes eventually, kind of like you. I can see clean through your head. <laughs> That's concerning. Are you sure you're not an SCP? I get the feeling this guy's working his way through the inside. I'm tripping over corpses here and slipping in all the blood. He doesn't have an arm. Can I get the other arm? Because then he probably can't hurt me anymore. Yeah, I could have used that a second ago. <laughs> And we've escaped until the next time. I actually think I like it. I think I let them catch me intentionally so that I can then turn them all into meaty little cubes. It's kind of my weird SCP hobby, fetish, whatever you want to call it. Our next level is actually the reason that I wanted to make this episode today because it's a continuation of one of the SCP levels that we previously played. This is called Fake Nature 
through the wall. And many of you guys might remember that Fake Nature was this really good level with a giant artificial underground forest to contain and house all of these SCPs. And when we escaped the forest, we found all the adjacent facilities were experimenting on them. So by the looks of things, I found a different way in. Rather than letting myself be captured, I'm posing as personnel. Good evening, gentlemen. Totally normal red-sleeved human here. I see that you're drinking and spilling on the job. Good for you. I'm here for the tour and for the inspection. Everything had better be up to tip-top shape. I see you have a whole lot of well-armed guards over there. It's a good thing nobody's gonna have to be fighting them later. Also, oh. I was gonna say a very loud facility behind me, but that's actually the helicopter that I came out of. I knew that, okay, don't question me. So we'll give security a 10 out of 10, but I gotta say guys, you're off to a bad start because this is supposed to be fake nature and I don't see any nature anywhere. No trees, no strange little pygmy culture, just a bunch of people being given a talking to. Oh, that's actually really interesting. What if the SCPs are evolving, right? Because last time they were all huddled around in fire with spears and human sacrifices and stuff like that. Now they're a little bit more civilized, a little bit more advanced. They have clothes and buildings, but like they're clearly still SCPs, right? They're still being contained and oppressed and so on and so forth. Ooh, that's not good. Is that a dancing disco pimp zombie? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need a double caging over here and definitely don't touch whatever it is you're taking out of them. Whose bright idea was it to give this giant zombie a butcher knife? Okay, I, I get it. He's a chef. He's wearing a chef hat. You still shouldn't be arming the zombies, dummy. That guy's gonna disarm somebody very quickly. Or already has. Yeah, his cellmate doesn't seem to be having a very good time. We do have a couple of buildings here, which seem to be under high security guard, but that's fine, right? Because I work here, so I'm allowed to go anywhere I want. Huh. So red is bad, yellow is good. Very happy that we have that properly labeled. Okay, doing great, guys. We might actually be in the process of raiding this village because they're taking all of the red vials out of their safe and smashing them up, and they seem pretty upset about it. Interesting, I wonder what they were doing with the red vials. Or what they're doing back here. That, ooh, that's interesting. Can I get back there somehow? We need to find a button, right? The answer is always a button. There's, there's surely a button around here somewhere. Steve here is gonna get answers one way or another, okay? You got an exposed nip. I'd be more careful if I were you. We're looking for a button. There's always a button. There's always a way to get in behind that stuff. It wouldn't be there otherwise. Okay, you know what? I found it. You go ahead and kill him, Steve. We don't need him anymore. <laughs> there is clearly something of interest back here. It's a giant guy and a meme poster. They were hiding memes the whole time. I should have known. Guys, we might want to put this one in a cage. I don't think he's doing all too well. Yeah, shaking your head at him isn't gonna accomplish anything, okay? Can we maybe get into... Another cage? What's going on here? Oh, locals are holding out on us, huh? They got something of interest in there. Just protecting it with uh, their chest shovels. Okay, you know what? That, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna fly around here. What are you guys hiding in here? They're king. Oh, they're leader, I see. Well, we're gonna have to do away with him really quick. We knew you had illegal memes in here, okay? This is where all hell breaks loose. I'm so happy I have the armed people on my side. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm gonna turn on them eventually because I'm an SCP and I hate them, but still. What's going on over here? Oh, this is like their containment facility. So you really wouldn't want somebody to press that button, right? That That's the button that you wouldn't want people to hit because it might release all of the giant muscly zombies. <laughs> okay, well, it's a good thing nobody did that. If anybody needs me, I'll be in my helicopter. Thank you very much. Uh, pardon me, excuse me, there we go. No, no, you guys, I, I need you to... Can the co-pilot and the pilot please stop slapping each other? I, I need somebody, there, there we go, okay. Um, I might have gotten both of them. Okay, well, it doesn't look that hard to control. I'll just uh, turn it off. Crap, 
Does anybody here know how to fly a helicopter? Because I figured out how to turn it on and off, but I, I can't retract the stairs or fly away. No, that's a whole lot of zombies. I'm gonna have to deal with that, aren't I? <laughs> There's one big one roam. Nope, nope, not one big one. There's, there's a lot of big ones roaming around. Okay, hold on. Let's just see. This is this is gonna be a problem. Yep, that that that's a big old problem right there. Well, it was nice knowing you, Katana. There's shotguns over here, right? I think I saw some shotguns on the wall. They're uh, a little bit dirty, but uh, eh, oh oh oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. That's, that's the stuff. That's exactly what you want for zombies. Oh crap. Not a big fan of this whole limited ammo deal we got going on here, guys, especially since I can't actually kill you. That one took a lovely jump. <laughs> this this is definitely not gonna go well for me. Yeah, I, I regret letting you guys out. Is there anything else of interest in here? Were they just being held in a cage? Maybe there's, uh, oh, okay. We do have some things going on. Little village elders happening over here? What's going on over here? Oh, more memes! I see how it is. Yeah, that that's not gonna help you now, guys. We need more than memes. How about over here? Is this a meme-free, zombie-free zone? Because I would really appreciate it. Nope, nope, sure isn't it. Sure isn't. <laughs> so, I'm just screwed. Yeah, I'm just screwed. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to just fire into the crowd and hope for the best. That's usually what I do anyway, who am I kidding? Maybe I can just let them fight it out? It's like a free-for-all right now. We have the local SCPs, the zombies, and then the people that I work with. I think all of my fellow employees may be dead. I'm not seeing any smiley faces, or, you know, faces in general right now. I think now is a good time to reveal that I'm an SCP, okay? And my ability, finger guns. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't see that coming. Everybody loves a good finger gunning. This is not gonna kill them. I can guarantee it. It's just gonna strip them of their skin and they're still gonna shamble on towards me. This never works. I wish Smite did something. Oh, crap. That's not good. Things have gone from bad to worse. The zombie disco pimp got out. Oh, please just leave me alone. Okay, I'm not all that interesting. There's a little guy just stabbing at your butt right now. I know I peeled off all your skin like a potato, but it was nothing personal. I think I'm safe up here. Right, zombies don't know how to jump, so I, I can probably just wait things out. I'm really curious what this guy's plan is. The memer is very stoic. Maybe I can just uh, convince him to join the fight? Nope. Excuse me. I don't know if there's anybody alive enough to care. Okay, you, you don't really count. But I finished my assessment, and I gotta say, this place didn't do very well. Okay, I'm taking my previous rating of 10 for security down to a three, and I'm also gonna have to write you up on the very unsanitary conditions. It's like I've said in previous episodes, when people die, they poop themselves, so that's just a whole lot of poop. It's like hacking away at a frozen steak. It just doesn't do anything. Like, do I have anything else going for me? Nothing. I got nothing going for me. <laughs> okay. I, I, well, there goes my head. Our last level for today is called Escape the Fake World. And I'm not really sure if it's SCP related, but the title reminded me a lot of the last level that we played. Now that I'm here, however, not so much. Looks a lot more like we're living in some kind of Windows 98 wallpaper. I can get in line if I really want to get food from the Afro robots. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I think I'm gonna pass. I don't really want any food today. I, I'm not skipping line, okay? If, if you guys want a serving, it's, it's all yours. I'm gonna go over here and watch the Chuck E. Cheese music. Yeah, when people say animatronics playing live music, this is kind of what I imagine. So we have a sleeping corner and a rave corner, uh, the beaten corner. Yeah, this this is all very important. And a katana. I always feel much more comfortable with a katana. What's going on over here? What are you two men in black guarding? This doesn't say employees only or anything like that, right? So if I walk through here, are you gonna try to hide those knives in me? Hopefully not. I'm just gonna... Ooh. Now that is really cool. We haven't seen these before. 
new model of robot? They're creepy looking and they're all staring at me. What are you guys up to? Some kind of strange SWAT team come to observe them? Am I one of them? Hearing a lot of fire and mechanical noises from behind door number two, now it's employees only. Now they're probably not all too happy that I'm looking at things. Okay, well, you know what? This is why I feel more comfortable with the katana, right? We good? I think we're good here, so now I can, uh, I could escape. I, I mean, if I could get through the army of SWAT, but th there is an escape over there. Yeah, yeah, get them, guys, right? We're, we're all friends. Right? We're, we're probably all cyborgs, I would say. So you guys could just uh, help me with the men in black, and I'll, I'll get us all out of here, okay? I'll be our robot savior. <laughs> I am so happy he didn't punch me in the back of the head for cutting in line. Any day now, fellow advanced brothers, we could really use the help, okay? Because we're gonna escape, we're not gonna take you with us if you don't move one of your fancy little white toes. Maybe, oh, oh, there we go, okay. I, I just needed to get the guards off their case. That, that makes total sense. Can you guys even get down from there? God, it's like Boston Dynamics. <laughs> they, they could do anything except for walk down a flight of stairs. Early Boston Dynamics, okay? Now they're getting ready to take over the world. Please stop hitting me. I really don't appreciate that. I think we're good, right? These doofuses are never gonna figure it out. You could just stare at them all you want. I'm gonna try to escape, but maybe. Okay, we got a lot of fire and we have a, okay then. Really happy I walked down the middle of the doorway. <laughs> oh, what are the odds? You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, you guys. And I hope we see more of these characters because they're really freaking cool and more SCP levels because I really enjoy them. You know, a lot of the levels that we play, the only objective is to kill people. Like you just wipe out everybody and you leave. The really, really good levels though, they have some kind of story or some kind of just thing to accomplish like escaping. So if you guys find any more levels like that, be sure to leave them in the comments, leave a like, and I'll be sure to return for more. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.